The moon is trying to leave the Earth. Slowly, so there's nothing to worry about, but every year the moon gets about one and a half inches further away. And it's all because of tides. So hopefully you learned this in school. The moon causes the tides. Mostly. The sun is responsible for about half the tidal changes that the moon is. Anyway, the reason those tides form is because the moon's gravitational pull is stronger on the side of the Earth facing the moon, and weaker on the side of the Earth away from the moon. The upshot is that the water on the near side is pulled up to the moon more than the center of the Earth is, and the center of the Earth is pulled up to the moon more than the far side water is. So we get two tidal bulges, and hence two high tides every day. But what does that have to do with the moon? Well, the Earth is rotating underneath that tidal bulge, pulling it along a bit. Also, the Earth's crust bulges a little bit too, and the crust moves rigidly with the Earth's rotation. So because the Earth's rotation isn't synced up with the moon's orbit, and in fact is much faster than it, both the oceanic and crustal tides are dragged a little bit ahead of the moon's orbit. And that means that there's just a slight imbalance in the mass attracting the moon, in a direction that causes the moon to speed up ever so slightly. And if the moon gains energy, its orbit has to get higher. The easy way to picture this is that something has to slow down, lose energy, in order to fall out of orbit and crash. So intuitively then, something gaining energy goes to a higher orbit. As an aside, that energy that the moon gets comes from the Earth's rotational energy, so our days are slowing down, getting longer, for the same reason. And so there we have it, the moon is leaving us. However, it's so slow that the sun will die and consume the Earth long before the moon gets too far away. And by the way, if any young Earth creationists made it to the end of the video, no, this 1.5 inches per year thing can't be extrapolated backward into the past unchanged, as the amount of water on the surface, the plasticity of the crust, and so many more variables affect the rate of recession. But I'm sure I'll have to remind several of you in the comments to watch till the end of the video.